welcome back to the Tidball Taste Tool. Thanks for joining us on this episode. Uh, this time around, we have, I believe, a summer seasonal uh, from Dogfish Head out of Milton, Delaware. It's enough of the clapping. <laughs> this is the Dogfish Head Sea Quench Ale, Session Sour. Uh, three styles blissfully brewed in sequence for a citrusy tart union. Our hybrid sour quencher is brewed with lime peel, black limes, black limes. Black lines and sea salt. I don't think that's four point nine percent alcohol by volume. I don't right. want it to be a thing. A, a collaboration with the National Aquarium. So it probably yeah. tastes like <laughs> sea water. You idiot! Ale brewed with lime and sea salt. Daniel. <laughs> so they collabed with the aquarium. The aquarium for, for their beer to make their beer. Sea they collabed with the aquarium to get the sea water. <laughs> well, let's hope it doesn't have sea salt in it like that freaking box beer. Oh, no. Perfect. But at least it's not a Goza. Those weren't too bad. Goza's are horrible. The ones we tried here weren't that bad. Yes, they were, they were. They were that bad, and then I've tried several since. All of You know, Old The Sierra Hot one wasn't that bad. The old Bust Heads was good, but then again, it was flavored. They were. The, and, well, the Old Ox one we had at that tasting oh. was. Blue. The Sam Adams one stunk. Mm -hmm. It didn't smell like I like it. Oh, that's, well, I don't like that. That's weird. That tastes, it is weird. That is so like oh my God, it's salty. definitely limey. Lime? Not my thing. But you know what? It's not as tart as it is just sour. There's, there's a sea salt element. It's the tart end and is sour like pure salt. and salty. There is the a sea salt. The end is just salt. Sequin. <laughs> Sequin. <laughs> like, if you ever wish, if you wished your beer was more like, the ocean. Sour seawater. <laughs> there is a very seaweedy element to this. I don't like this. Three. Mm, this sucks. You just, I mean, when something tastes like this, you get, just get your rating out of the yeah. way. I, okay, my personal take, though, I will, I will say, this is not my thing at all. I'm gonna give a couple, at least, at least half a point. Just for trying something like this, because this is interesting. Uh, no kudos, props, all that. I don't like the beer, okay? Mm. I, but here's the thing. I kind of knew that I would. Looking at it, I kind of figured that I would. Um, anytime you get adventurous, you take a risk. Yes, and that's one of Dogfish Head's things. Yeah. Dogfish Head is a brewery, for anybody that isn't familiar with them, they're a brewery that is that they're at their core. And it doesn't appeal to everybody. No. Mm -hmm. No, so, none of their stuff does. Clearly, They're, somebody likes this. Dogfish has a brewery. Someone has brain damage. Dogfish has a brewery that is consistently going after something different. They they don't they Dogfish had really they make a couple like little lagers and pilsners and stuff, but the majority of their stuff is just sh crazy shit with weird Have ingredients. Have you been to their restaurants? Yeah. Yeah. Is that where you had the mm -hmm. casino? Uh, they do, yeah. one of my favorites that they do is called Chateau Yahoo or something like mm -hmm. that. It's that Finnish, like, 9,000 really euro good, recipe. Really good triple, the beer to drink. Yeah, that was two, good. Uh, that was they, they do, they're, they're a, an incredibly good brewery. Mm -hmm. It's just that a lot of stuff that they, that they, when they tinker, which is great that they do it, because some, sometimes you find gems in there, sometimes you find stinkers too. This was not. This is not my style. I never knew. I never thought it would be my style yeah. based on looking at it. This it, it reminds me stylistically a little of the Festina Peach thing. Mm -hmm. Like it seems like in that sort of vein. It's very salty and limey, and I can't even describe. It doesn't even feel mm -hmm. like beer. It, it, it's yeah. so. Yeah. It's, it's like seltzer watery almost. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Uh, but it's yeah. uh, it's not my thing. But it, you know. It kind of seems like trying. it could be, you put a little tequila with it, could be a really tart margarita. Kind of. Because it's so limey. Yeah. I don't know, maybe that's just me. No, no, that, I get that, actually. Yeah. Um, not my thing at all. Props for trying three. I'm going to be the surpriser here. I kind of dig it. Cool. Not that I like would drink this on my own, but I'm actually surprisingly into this. I'll give it like a five and a half. It's definitely okay. not. It's not. It's terrible. not terrible. And that's yeah. Our ratings like, are like I wouldn't want more than this, but like I am actually enjoying drinking. I'll put it to you this way: if you called this like lime lager, I'd give it like a one. Right. Mm -hmm. 
but what they're they're not claiming it to be anything other. I just don't like it. Right. Particularly. Right. Yeah, yeah. My low rating is because I don't like it. Yeah. So, uh, three and a half, a three, a three, and a five and a half. So I'm collaborating with aquariums to make beers. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> they, well, they gave them some like ingredients: sea salt, yeah. 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 black lime, and sat at the bottom of the ocean. Right. right. Yeah. Shut that's what. Oh, that's what a black lime is. We just sat at the bottom of the ocean for like a year, and then we get it out. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, so. Gosh. Uh, anything else to add? Are we good? We're good. good. Dogfish Head Sea Quench Ale Session Sour, 4.9% alcohol by volume. Not that great of ratings, but check it out. It's, it is interesting. So, we'll be back at the tour. Thanks for joining us. Support the aquarium. Yeah, join us again.